Hello everybody, uh, Matthew back here for, I believe we're on episode 6 now, and uh, well, episode 5 of the actual uh, LJN competition, 6th uh, episode overall. Um, I'm actually really excited about this uh, this video, um, I got a lot of uh, duplicates, a lot of originals on top of the uh, custom uh, versions of my uh, figures. Now I know the uh, last uh, last video consisted of you know the Heart Foundation, Killer Bees, and of course their their customs. Um, I got a few more uh, additional customs to add to this round. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of uh, individual pieces moving forward. Uh, I know some people are probably thinking you know why not just choose one figure and then have them square off against uh, someone else uh, on the shelf. Um, and then have that figure move forward, but uh, I really like it this way. Uh, it gives everybody an opportunity, I guess, to to become a winner. Um, I actually got quite a few figures here that are actually some of uh, my absolute favorite uh, figures, not just customs, but just overall um, visually uh, perfect uh, figures as far as I'm concerned. So the first one I'm looking at here uh, is the original uh, LJN version of Hercules. Um, You've got that nice little Spartan type uh, Roman uh, warfighter, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never really remember this character uh, being in this specific getup. Uh, I mean, it's an actually a really awesome uh, figure. Uh, decent pose, not great. Um, there's definitely far worse figures out there. Uh, you still have the, the clothesline ability. Um, you're going to have to basically pull your punches, kind of. But, I mean, overall, uh, decent pose, not great, uh, not the worst. Uh, absolutely gorgeous aesthetically uh, figure. Uh, he is up against some really uh, stiff competition when, when you compare it to uh, some of the LJN uh, custom figures. Now, this is actually one of my more favorite uh, figures. Uh, this was actually acquired from uh, an eBay store called uh, The Raider Nation. I've actually purchased quite a few custom figures from the Raider Nation, and I think they should really get some props for uh, producing some really amazing products. Uh, whether or not this is something that they acquired and then started selling, or if there's someone who works at the shop or, or the owner who actually does them himself, I don't know. But uh, there are a number of uh, uh, figures that I purchased from the Raider Nation that are absolutely some of my all-time favorite figures. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Now this right here is more... Of a, of a Hercules Hernandez that I'm familiar with. Um, I, I actually really like this because it has a, a real chain on here. Uh, the hair might be a little bit too much, but I mean, it doesn't detract from the overall uh, appearance of this figure. Uh, I like the little H for Hercules right on the boots. Absolutely gorgeous design overall. Beautiful, beautiful figure. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, is it good enough to win the competition uh, I guess we'll find out because uh, we're not stopping at just two uh, for this particular figure in fact we do have a third figure a third Hercules I actually acquired this Hercules uh, from my good friend Eric uh, now wrestling writer as I mentioned best eye in the business when it comes to LJN custom figures uh, the only negative I could possibly uh, tell you about this figure is it is a hard plastic figure possibly resin so that to me does detract from the overall value of the figure whereas the, the Raider Nations figure actually is uh, a rubber custom figure uh, based on the arm positioning I'm trying to think uh, which figure this is actually molded after but um, both gorgeous figures uh, the chain isn't quite as good as the Raider Nations version uh, more of a, of a plastic feel than a than metal feel for the chain. But when you look at the face, I mean, there is no perfect, more perfect representation of Hercules. That is Hercules in all his glory. Uh, perfect play pose. Uh, now this figure, because it's resin or, yeah, I think this was resin. Uh, again, hard plastic. Uh, this is just simply a uh, display piece. You know, no one's actually going to use this figure for for actual wrestling. You're not going to give it to your kids for play. I, mean, I guess you could, but you risk damaging it. And this is just too perfect of a figure to to hurt in any way like that, to do something like that. Uh, it, it's really tough. I mean, 
in this in this round, uh, Hercules uh, LJN original is not going to compare to either of the uh, custom models. As much as I love rubber figures, and I'm not a huge fan of the resin, this figure is absolutely perfect. Um, one of the most phenomenal uh, figures I do own. It, and then it would just be an absolute crime against humanity if I were to, to bypass this figure at all. This to me, we're not talking about, you know, second round, third round type deal. This is, you know, a figure that could potentially be in the bottom five uh, when, it, when it all is said and done. It is that perfect. Uh, Eric, if you're watching, brother, I uh, really appreciate it, man. This was, this was a fantastic buy. So, LJN Custom number one. Defeats LJN Custom number two, and of course LJN Original. Uh, the next, um, I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, so we've got Coco Beware. I don't have Frankie for any of my figures. Not Hasbro. Not LJN. Uh, actually, this is actually a really good uh, figure. I really like the jacket and pants. Uh, I love Frankie or the little parakeet on the on the pants there. And this is a beautiful design. Now, obviously, I'm not crazy about the hand gesture. Like this little bird dance he does, I guess. A lot of people have issues with uh, wrestlers and clothing. To me, it doesn't really detract from playability or anything like that. You know, uh, Honky Tonk Man uh, in a full Elvis getup, you know, looks amazing. I'm not going to hate on that. Uh, this is a fantastic figure. I really love this Coco Beware. And even though the positioning of the hands might be a little bit weird he does actually have a really good body slam pose and to me again uh, i'll repeat it over and over again when it comes to wrestling figures that body slam uh, positioning of the hands arms that's what matters this is a gorgeous piece i love it uh it is going against another uh the raider nation uh, i'll call them exclusive per se uh, because it is a uh, a figure I did purchase from the Raider Nation. Again, the Raider Nation uh, absolutely blew it out of the ballpark with this one. Of all of my uh, Raider Nation purchases, I think this one had to be my favorite one. Uh, the color is just absolutely fantastic. Now, what they did is just you know do a little alteration, you know, with the with the pants uh, and uh, you know jacket, um, just flip flop the colors essentially. Red pants, red jacket, to white pants, white jacket, you know. But uh, you, you really can't go wrong with either one. Now this one might be just a pinch too shiny, too sparkly. Uh, does it detract from the overall quality? I don't think so. Uh, I think the flashiness of this figure, you know, really brings to light Coco Beware. And of course, you know, like many of my figures, I, I include a custom belt. Uh, I don't know if Coco Beware ever was champion uh, in any capacity. You know, not World Wrestling Federation, not, I don't know, AWA, NWA, was any, any of those belts, uh, any of those different uh, uh, regions or whatnot. Uh, I got an extra hardcore belt, and I needed a figure to put it on. And like I said, I try to uh, put belts on all my, uh, uh, all my figures when possible. This one is a tough one. Uh, this is a great figure. I really love it. But like so many of the other uh, matches, the customs will normally win out over the original. And I think this one was just, was an absolute no-brainer. Uh, just like to my friend Eric uh, at Wrestling Rider at eBay, uh, the Raider Nation eBay shop. Definitely give them uh, a look. They have some amazing products. Coco Beware Custom defeats Coco Beware Original. Uh, sticking with my... Uh, original versus custom line. We've got an original Ken Patera. I mean, it's, it's simple. Uh, very thick bulk uh, thighs and legs. Um, this figure obviously looks like he's on. He's just jacked with steroids. But uh, again, he's got got that macho man arms in the air type of pose. Again, not a huge fan of that. Um, yeah, you could do like a little power slam or something, but playability wise, this figure really can't do anything for you. Um, it's got this nice little specialty belt I added. Uh, this one I believe is made out of rubber. Um, 
rubber, hard plastic, kind of like uh, the same you would get from like a you know Galoob or whatnot. Uh, really big buckle. I mean, this is just a fantastic belt. I absolutely love this one. Uh, I just purchased a bunch of random belts, and uh, this happened to be one of them, part of a lot, and it fits beautifully uh, around the LJN figure. And uh, I mean, again, pose not great, but I mean, as far as sitting on the shelf or you know your your fireplace mantle or something, this is a fantastic piece. Uh, I really, I think it's a fan favorite. I mean, I like it a lot. Uh, it does go against again one of my all-time favorite figures. Uh, this is another. Uh, wrestling writer purchase Ken Patera custom uh, from what he explained to me is this is Ken Patera uh, probably late 70s early 80s uh, with blonde hair obviously uh, comes with a wrestling belt and uh, so this one his singlet doublet I'm not really sure what you'd call the wrestling uh, the wrestling gear uh, does come with black suit USA whereas the original had the WWF purple on the original uh, figure there so overall, relatively the same exact figure for the most part. Uh, again, a few changes, you know, obviously in the chest there, uh, black shoes, you know, black singlet. Um, that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, you switched out the, the black with the purple. But this one looks absolutely fantastic. And the best part, it's a rubber figure. So as much as I love original figures, I can't stress that enough. There are just so many good customs that I have in stock that I just can't see any, uh, at least not a majority of, of my figures, uh, originals, topping the customs that, that come out after them. So Ken Patera Custom defeats Ken Patera Original. Now this is actually a really fun one. Uh, Outback Jack, I uh, just got him maybe a few weeks ago. I don't have uh, any duplicates of this figure, so I'm not actually able to, like, actually, you know, get a, a Royal Rumble in with this figure so that, you know, I actually have something to talk about as far as, you know, his, his uh, playability. Um, he does have, a, I guess, a, a decent clothesline there, you know, good punch. Um, it doesn't really look like he has the best body slam pose, even if he comes down the other way. Not so... That to me is always a drawback, regardless of you know who the who the figure is. Uh, overall, I mean, this was a legitimate contender to move on to the next round. Would this be a third or fourth rounder uh, if if it ever had you know the opportunity to go that far? You know, honestly, I, I think yes. The, this this is a good enough figure where it could have gone more than a couple rounds easy, but in this round. He is going against possibly my favorite LJN. Is Kamala going to win this competition? You know, as of right now, I can't say yes or no. All I know is that I have had an opportunity to to play with him. Uh, I do have a duplicate of Kamala. I have a purchase for that specific reason. Um, just another perfect pose. Uh, right up there with Hogan and Andre and Stud, uh, Nikolai Volkov. Um, S.D. Jones, uh, even, uh, again, Freddie Blassie has a great pose. Uh, this, you know, he's he got that little uppercut shot, uppercut chop there, slap you, uh, throw a punch. I mean, just a, an absolutely fantastic uh, body slam pose. I mean, look at that. Perfect, perfect for body slamming. Uh, absolutely incredible. And he's not too bad off as far as being body slammed. You got the right wrestler with the good... Uh, spotty to slam pose to me I, I like this figure a lot but there are very few figures I think that have the potential to defeat Kamala I mean not with this figure I don't think we're just simply looking at you know two or three rounds um, with the vast quantity of uh, figures that I do have I might have to go more than you know three rounds four rounds um I think with 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 quarterfinals, semifinals, finals, you're probably looking at uh, you know four four rounds or more. Um, but this is just I love this this figure so much. It you know the color scheme on it, and it's just incredible. Uh, one thing I remember about Kamala, uh, I think when he returned to the uh, WWF in the early '90s, I forgot who his manager was, but uh, he used to slam his opponent to the ground 
uh, run against the rope and kind of like do a belly flop on his back. And that's how he would try to pin him. And then he would just kind of like start rolling the wrestler around. Uh, and they would always end up on their stomach again. And he would try and pin them on their back or pin them while they're face down. Um, <laughs> and just, just kind of seeing some of his older matches and, and the scary Ugandan wrestler that he was. And uh, they kind of made up a joke of him uh, later on. Uh, being basically a crazy wrestler that didn't know how to pin somebody. But um, just a, a fun character. Uh, it's got some weight to it, which you know how much I love. Uh, that makes it to, so much more valuable in my eyes. Uh, great figure, great pose, great colors. Awesome character. I mean, he just absolutely abolishes. <laughs> Kamala absolutely abolishes uh, Outback Jack. There's just no competition, not with Kamala. So, a figure that a lot of people probably felt like shouldn't have existed... Uh, another muscle man, uh, his figure is, you know, fairly common, a really simple one, um, kind of like a Ken Patera, Andre the Giant uh, type of uh, figure, just has a little wrestling gear, singlet, whatever you want to call it, um, one single color, red, uh, looks like he has, not doesn't even have boots, he has regular shoes on, you know, some ankle socks, very simple character, uh, face looks great. Really bulky. Uh, arms, not great for punching, nor is it great for uh, clotheslining. Uh, let me see. Let me bring out Kamala back over here. So, even the body slam pose isn't that great. Uh, Display-wise, I, I like it. Uh, you know, I, lo I love all the LGNs, but as a, as a child... Trying to make use out of this figure, trying to play. Uh, this doesn't do much. Uh, is it good enough figure to move on to the next round? Well, for this video, he is taking again. He is going up against someone who might actually be even worse as far as play pose. So I do have uh, a couple different uh, belts on this figure. Um, this is actually a Harley Race original. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the uh, LGN figures I purchased from uh, Wrestling Writer on eBay are customs, but there are a couple uh, here and there that I have purchased that you know are uh, original uh, figures. You know the Harley Race being one. Um, what was the other? The of course I mentioned uh, Terry Funk being the very first figure I purchased from him. Uh, that's how I became familiar with Wrestling Writer. And, of course, began our, you know, long uh, business dealings. Um, possibly my, my favorite to buy from uh, when it comes to uh, custom figures. Uh, to me, the best on eBay. Best seller on eBay, definitely. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, maybe this jacket isn't the best idea. Jacket, robe, I'm not really sure. I mean, he's terrible fighting pose. Uh, but... It's actually, uh, I mean, something I really enjoy. I mean, aesthetically, it is a beautiful figure. And Harley Race going up against uh, Ted RCD um, makes a lot of sense because you have two not-so-great figures. None of them, neither one really, in my opinion, has a legitimate chance of going all the way. Could uh, could this figure, depending on, uh, depending on who he's facing next round, make it to... Uh, third or fourth round, it's possible, but is he good enough to defeat Ted Arcidi? Ted Arcidi does have a much better pose, and to me, he's much more worthy of being a uh, wrestler-esque. I uh, don't know too much about uh, Harley Race, but based on aesthetics alone, I am moving Harley Race to the next round, and uh, on top of the additional wrestling belts... Uh, he does come with, now this one's actually a, a custom hat. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't actually fit on his head. Um, that I might have to try and find an original at some point. Uh, because every time you move it, you know, that, that thing's going to fall off. It doesn't really do me justice. But either way, custom, uh, hardened hat, uh, probably made out of uh, resin too. Just like most figures, uh, or a lot of the resin uh, custom figures I have. 
but uh, still a great accessory regardless. So that was five matchups in this round, and uh, that or this video, I should say. I am gonna try and keep things to about maybe five matches per video. Uh, that way, I don't go overboard. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying doing each video. Uh, I try not to talk too much. Just try to you know bring up the wrestlers, uh, allow other people to enjoy uh, the different figures and of course the different customs, and you know get my take on uh, which ones bring me joy and which ones I find to be the best figures. And uh, it's great for me. Um, like I said, I'm just knocking out video after video, and my goal is to try and possibly do the entire collection within maybe two days, three days. Uh, when I finally do start posting, I keep saying I'm going to post it, but I haven't. Uh, when I finally do post videos, uh, I'll probably do one a day, maybe. Or maybe I'll do them all at one time. That way, if people do enjoy it, uh, they have the opportunity to watch them straight through. And they don't have to sit there and uh, try and you know wait a week or several days in between. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I am not done. Uh, I, I say I'm done after every video, and I'm not. I'm, I'm always eager to start the next round or the next uh, battles. So I will do probably one, two, maybe three more uh, videos tonight, probably keep them around 20-25 minutes, and uh, try and give a, a bulk uh, listing, and, uh, I, and when I find it happens, I look forward to your questions, everyone. Um, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> Good night, everyone.